Hi everyone, this is Jeff from SwimmingSpecificYoga.com, a website that has online yoga classes, courses, and other content that is specifically designed for swimmers. Now what I'm going to go through here is just a really simple and short sequence that I love to do with swimmers to develop greater shoulder stability. So we're going to start by coming down into tabletop. So tabletop just meaning that you're coming down on all fours. Have your fingers spread wide and really press the fingertips into the ground. Walk your knees back an inch or two, tuck your toes under. Externally rotate the shoulders. So your elbow pits are going to face away and your triceps are going to twirl towards each other. Once you've done that, on an exhale, press the ground away from you and press your hips up and back into down dog. So an inverted V positioning. As you're here, really make sure those shoulders are externally rotated, feeling engagement in and around the shoulder blades to build that stability. Feel the spine long from the tailbone to the crown of the head. So feel the neck in line with the rest of the spine. On your next inhale, you're going to slowly glide forward to your high push-up. Keep pressing the ground away. Keep the shoulders activated. Set the core, so engage the core and engage the glutes. Keep the spine long. The next movement we're going to go into is a scat push-up. So keep the arms extended. On an inhale, lower the body. Bring the shoulder blades towards each other. On an exhale, press the ground away, filling that space between the shoulder blades with the upper back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise, and then press back to your down dog. Set your shoulders, press the ground away. Inhale, glide forward to your high push-up. Set the core. And then on the next, inhale, lower. Exhale, rise, and press right back to your down dog. So once again, that's a sequence of three poses that I love to use to develop greater shoulder stability.